How's it going, Danimo Nation? My name is Daniel Sun, and today we have some Last of Us multiplayer on University with me rocking my very, very schnexy uh, orange straw cowboy hat and my silent semi auto with 9mm backup pistol. And uh, yeah, this is pretty good gameplay. Um, I wish I had a little bit more current gameplay. This gameplay was when I was like level 2 or 3 and now I'm level 7 I think. But I just haven't had time. I felt kind of lazy in recording. But I will uh, get this thing going soon. But first of all, happy 4th of July. This is when I'm going to upload the video. Hopefully you guys have uh, a safe one and a fun one with your family, your friends, whoever you're celebrating with, your grandma, your grandpappy, whoever it is. Hopefully you guys have a good time. Uh, enjoy the barbecue if you're gonna have one. Enjoy the fireworks, but do not, I repeat, do not blow your balls off with a uh, cherry bomb or anything like that, guys. Just be careful out there, but yeah, anyways, America! Back to this commentary. I don't know what boosters or what perks I am using in this game. I think they are Crafter and Covert Training 2. I'll tell you more about the uh, the perks, and I, I'm gonna put some quotations around that because they're not really called perks, but they're like perks in Call of Duty. And all these guys are just sticking around, which you're supposed to do as it's in this game because teamwork is just so key. But I just felt like going Call of Duty style, and it actually pays off in this situation, which is super, super, extremely rare. But uh, yes, like I was saying, in this game, it has kind of like a pick 10 system like Black Ops 2, if you guys have ever played Black Ops 2. Uh, every item has a different value though, so like a regular silence auto, and that bomb's just gonna kill me, but I gotta get out of there, I'm sorry teammate, I can't save you. I would try to save you, but there's it's just too risky, and in this case, my life is important than yours, because if I try to rescue you, maybe I can go down two, and instead of one dead body, that's two dead bodies on our 20, uh, counts of reinforcement and that's gonna be no good at all for the team but back to what I was saying uh, it's kind of like a pick 10 system a regular silence uh, a silence semi auto would be four points while a regular one would be just two I think and Molotovs in this game are so scary you see a guy with the Molotov you better back the hell out of the way because he's gonna burn your ass so bad Molotovs are a one-shot kill they do not take much at all to craft and that's why they are just so dangerous. And crafting in this game is also very, very important. Bombs, Molotovs, and even smoke bombs combined with the shiv can make for some very, very deadly combinations. So you gotta watch out for that as well. And also armor is super, super key because, you know, it's just in this game the bullets do a lot of damage because it is real life. But yes, you know, with the whole uh, pick 10 system s kind of thing, uh, right now, I have 13 points available in my class, which is super, super nice because I can use two upgraded uh, perks or boosters, whatever you want to call them. And again, look, at I'm just tearing these guys up. This guy pops out of nowhere. I have no idea where he popped up from. And we're just going to go ahead, me and my teammate are just going to go ahead and just execute these guys, put them out of their misery. But yeah, this game is, uh, is really good. I like it. And I'm kind of excited to see what they're going to do with DLC. This guy pops out of nowhere. My team is just completely oblivious, but I just saved their ass. A bomb coming out! Ah! Uh, but uh, back to what I was saying, they're going to release two DLCs uh, specifically for multiplayer, so I can't really wait for that. I want to see what kind of things they're going to do. I know they're going to put new maps, but maybe hopefully they can put in some new weapons or put in some uh, different perks or, or boosters or whatever you want to call them. Uh, but yeah, my favorite weapons to use in multiplayer are the bow and arrow, the semi-auto, and the burst rifle. And again, this guy just seems to be absolutely clueless. You gotta pay attention. Oh yes, I forgot, I was using Hawkeye. So in this game, Hawkeye is super duper important because it helps your team out very, very much. And especially if you have Hawkeye 3, where it makes the enemies glow red. You can see them through walls. It's basically a wall hack. And if your enemy is standing next to one of their teammates, it even marks the teammates on there too, which is just absolutely sick. This is my favorite perk in the game so far. And I just hope that nobody else uses it because this thing is so good, but it is really, really good. And uh, also guys, you know, just for my whole channel, I know I've not uploaded that much videos ever since my return, but I plan to change that. I'm going to do a video a day, so if you guys want to see a video a day, uh, give me 10 likes on this video just to show support. What likes do for me, uh, really, they just provide me to be motivation as I just dis completely destroy that guy with the baseball bat, or the freaking 2x4 to the face with the scissors tattooed to it. But uh, likes motivate me to make more videos, I love when you guys like the videos, but uh, yeah.
don't worry, daily videos coming up soon. My name is Dan. I'll leave you guys all. Bye!